It is time for another update in my bullet journal. I just got through the first week of November, even though it wasn't really the first full week of November. And I swear to God, I feel like my bullet journal is all over the place right now. So we're gonna go through where I've been at since the start of November. Maybe you'll understand kind of why I feel like willy nilly, willy nilly for days. So let's take a look here. So here's the beginning of November. However, it started here in this week because Tuesday was the 31st. So this whole page and these lettering pages were before the start of November. Looking at this, I did a bunch of filming. I spent a bunch of time with my kids. I did a bunch of all sorts of things, a bunch of churchy shit, big blocks of time where I will be honest with you, I may have just a little bit embellished how much time I spent working when I was doing this because there were times when I was sitting there just like, I have no idea what I should be doing right now. Like, not gonna lie. I did get everything here on this list taken care of though, which felt really good. And then we have my lettering through yesterday, through Sunday. I'm filming this on Monday like I usually do, even though these go up on Thursdays because I like to time warp you. It's like Terminator, man, time paradox. I love this Cookie Monster doodle for Cookie Monster's birthday. And it's also Frank Oz's birthday, which is why they call it Cookie Monster's birthday because he's Cookie Monster's puppeteer. And then we get into November. Now, two things I'm gonna point out here. First of all, thank you everybody who pointed out I didn't even notice this. It's even in my thumbnail from last week's video. 17, 18, 19, 19, 21. I am, I am, I am that good. I am fucking professional. Part of me is thinking about just giving up this whole title page thing. I feel like maybe the reason I'm doing them is because that's what fancy people in bullet journal videos on YouTube do. And I keep thinking fancy people things or what I should be doing because that's what people want to see. But then maybe people don't want to see it or maybe they want to see it but see me fuck up. I, I don't know. So this is the uh, what I'm grateful for page, which is not, I understand people do gratitude shit in their bullet journals all the time. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I would feel super cheesy and forcing it. And I kind of feel cheesy and forcing it just doing this. However, I'm gonna keep doing it for the month of November, or at least I'm gonna attempt to. So right now I have got five things. My previous minister who just retired, I'm very grateful for the time I had with her. I am grateful for HVAC systems. I lived for a number of years in a house that had neither central heat nor air conditioning. And it was miserable in both the heat of the summer when it was like 100 degrees plus, and in the winter when it was like 30 degrees at night. I'm very, very grateful to own a house with that right now and very thankful. Same with fuzzy socks, because it was fucking balls cold the other day. And then carpools, because I didn't have to drive my kids either to or from a retreat this weekend. And then finishing a project, this was where I was feeling kind of like I was stretching, but it was finishing finding a new minister. I don't know, it just, I could not figure out how to word that. And it was like, do I really wanna be doing this? I don't know. Right here is kind of the start of where I'm feeling all over the place with my bullet journal. I had this set to do November TV shows. My husband and I have not decided if we wanna watch any new shows in November. And the one that I did in October, we're watching Stranger Things season two, which PS, I had at least, we had two different people ask us if we had seen up to Stranger Things season two episode three because of Mr. Baldo. And when we watched it last night, we were both cracking up when we realized why they were so insistent on wondering whether or not Jesse had seen episode three. It's because of the whole Mr. Baldo thing. And if you're not watching Stranger Things, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you have watched it, know that last night Jess and I had to pause it because we were both cracking up so hard. Getting deeper into the Menendez murders, two episodes left. But at the moment, I haven't thought about anything to do for November, so I'm leaving it blank. And part of me, every time I see it, is like, fuck, it's blank, I should put something there. Here's where we are at for doodling. I need to do uh, Mondays, which I'll do on this video for Guy Fox. I did his hat and his little mustache because I didn't feel like drawing the actual mask. And then for oodles of doodles so far, we have what? Hedwig, a quill, the sorting hat, a wand, and a snitch. And I'm hoping that everything will kind of start meshing against each other, but I just haven't done that yet. And then here we are for habit tracking. I've been pretty good at staying on top of my habits and my pain tracking. I have not been great with all of them. There's at least one I haven't done anything on yet because I've been so all over the place. I did manage to wake up at 6.30 though, and yesterday I did it not on purpose, but because of the time change. So I feel like I'm doing okay and I could do better. I'm keeping track of my pain levels. As you can see, I tend to get worse in the evening. Remember when I say this, that the yellow, which is like the base, is not really great feeling, but it's kind of my new normal. So there is that. As for blood pressure, I've only done two mornings so far, so I need to get better at this, damn it. 
not because I need to have a blood pressure tracker in my bullet journal because it's fancy, but because my doctor's like, track your fucking blood pressure, Cindy, so I need to. Now we get to my week, and I actually did all seven days here, and I originally left this page blank because I thought I would just keep going across it and run like Gryffindor washi tape across the top and the bottom. This PS is from Simply Gilda, and I love it, but I haven't done that yet. I'm, I might just start today's here, but this is where I'm starting to feel willy-nilly. I'm leaving blank pages. I think there might still be one in the October land as well. Like somewhere in here, there might be a blank page that I had left for something and I just never did anything with. I, I don't remember whether I have that or not, but like having these couple of blank pages and not really sure, like, I feel like I keep leaving blank pages and then I mean to put a post-it note on them to remind me what I'm going to do next. And then I take it off because I don't like that little bump when you're writing on the other side of the page. And then I'm like, wait, what the hell do I want to do with that page? I might just continue my bullet journaling for this week, starting it here and just do my habit tracker on another page, but then it'll be removed from the week, which with this, I will tell you having my bullet journaling here and my, my time tracker be all the way back here is why I lied on some of this or like fudged it because I kept forgetting to get all the way back there because they were so far removed from each other. But if I put it here, my bullet journal's not going to start for another another spread because I have something else going on here. So if I start it here and bullet journal here and just find something else to do for here, it might be, I, I just don't know. So I'm gonna keep thinking about that while I finish walking through this. This might seem like a first world problem, but I just, I leave these blank pages in anticipation of needing them for something and then I, it doesn't work out that way and it's really irking me for some reason. And then here is my Thanksgiving planning, my faux Thanksgiving planning, because my family, we do a Thanksgiving on a different day because of different work schedules and people coming from out of the state. This is information because I am hosting it this year. So big grocery list we have, this is our guest list thus far. I think we're at 31 people and we may be adding an additional four. So it's like be 35 people. So we have our big conference call that we do, my sisters and I, to figure out how much food we need. Every year we do this huge Thanksgiving dinner for m tons of people in our family. And my sisters and I do the bulk of the cooking. If you would like to know, how see how kind of the process is, how we plan that, let me know in the comments and I might be able to get a video up on that. And then this is where I'm at. So like I said, I have this blank page and I haven't decided what I want to do or where I want to start it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep bullet journaling here. I'm gonna put my time tracker here and then I'll keep bullet journaling here and then this spread will be my lettering. So I'm gonna draw my lettering in first so that I can take care of my challenges for the day. I'm still using my Tombow mono drawing pen right now because that's just the one I'm enjoying the most at the moment. So I did this lettering and left it kind of too much space on the bottom for my taste. So I am gonna slap some of this leaf washi. I got from one of those like washi co-ops a couple years ago when I was buying exorbitant amounts of washi tape to build up my collection, not realizing how little of it I would ever actually use at any given time. I used it for my Thanksgiving, so I feel like it is a nice kind of, either that or Harry Potter washi is kind of what I'm using for the month. I am going to quickly get my lettering done for today, which is nachos. Yeah, buddy. Not really sure how I almost managed to run out of space on that. And it's only a, what, a six letter word? Jesus. <laughs> I had to embellish with all of the Tombos to make nachos look awesome as nachos are probably one of my most deliciously favorite comfort foods. All right, now I'm gonna get my doodle challenge done from my oh so cute doodles and the prompt for today is saxophone. My sister used to play saxophone, fun fact. It could be a saxophone, could be a tobacco pipe. Then for the oodles of doodles challenge, it is Harry Potter's glasses. I'm gonna continue bullet journaling on this page and I think that this will be my new time tracking page. Let's get that drawn in. Let's see, I don't know if my, I haven't done it in this bullet journal yet on that side of the page. So this should be an interesting experience to try and get this drawn in. If I can fucking find where the last, like I said, this is so, 
wacky having it be so far away but hopefully i'll get back on track sooner rather than later and damn it putting this washi tape down has made it so i can't see how many squares to count down <sighs> first world problems Sweet, I didn't screw it up. Oh my God. I've been really liking using this priorities box to like mark out my priorities through for the week. So I've been enjoying that and I think I am going to continue doing that for at least the foreseeable future. It's not a schedule or even a to like a task list like for all of my tasks. It's just specific tasks that need to be accomplished this week. Have being able to complete them, it looks really nice. I like how it looks with like the check marks. So I need to just be able to do that. It's like a psychological warfare on myself. I'm trying to force myself into getting shit done. So right now I'm gonna fill in those priorities for the week. I'm gonna get my key put in. I zoomed in so that you can see the categories. I'm not gonna list them out like verbally because I, you know, I do it every week. I try and experiment. I'm gonna use this um, Harry Potter washi from Simply Gilded. I used Gryffindor on those previous pages. If I had a Harry Potter house, I would have the a Ravenclaw. So I'm gonna Ravenclaw the shit out of these pages. In my family, fun fact, we basically represent the entirety of the Harry Potter houses because I consider myself a Ravenclaw. My husband would most definitely be a Slytherin. My daughter, that is not where I want it to be. My daughter, considers herself very much a Hufflepuff. Matter of fact, she was a Hufflepuff student for Halloween. And my son is very much a Gryffindor. So between the four of us, we have covered all of the houses. And I can just stick the washi tape on the top to do bullet journaling on this side, which I'm not gonna do yet because as I've been saying, I never seem to manage to do what I want on those pages. So we're gonna leave it like that. But really quick, I am gonna fill out my time tracker for thus far today. So there is my time tracker for the week. I am actually going to skip backwards to this page and grab my, where the hell did my Gryffindor washi tape go? Where's my Gryffindor washi tape? There it is. And I'm going to Gryffindor the other side of this page. I wasn't intending for this this month in my bullet journal to be Harry Potter themed. I just had just gotten the washi tape and was super excited about it. So I wanted to keep using it. All right, I've got my stuff written in. I spelled personnel wrong, so I just scribbled it out because fuck it, I don't care if there's scribbles in my, it's not, like we've already, like this right here has suggested, I have given up on any semblance of perfection. So that is everything I think I'm gonna do in my bullet journal so far for this week. I am hoping to get a few more collections put in sometime soon, like I've been talking about doing for like three weeks now, but you know, nobody's worrying about that. I am so conflicted with whether or not I just wanna stick with what I love or add more things for both the benefit of having a more interesting YouTube channel and a more interesting bullet journal. I just don't know. If you have any of these existentialist thoughts regarding your bullet journal, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.